All right, guys, I got a coin out of this hole down here, about three and a half inches deep. All right, guys, what's up? Happy July 4th weekend, man. Glad to have y'all along with me. I'm on the other side of the house that I normally detect, and it's been a number of videos in this series. But guys, I gotta ask you, how many of you, before you go to bed, lay and think, man, I found this, this, and this, and this there. It's gotta be there. So I found two Indian heads here, a bunch of 40s and 50s nickels, and countless weeps. One, 1941 silver quarter so i'm thinking you know it was an 1897 indian a 1903 indian that silver has got to be here so i'm gonna slow it down today hit it from a different direction guys when i get something worth showing you i'll be right back with you let's y'all see where i'm at i tried the woods up there on the other side of the house where the front porch would be and i found something i found a japanese hornet's nest guys so i decided that was not the best place to metal detect um, I'm going to continue swinging down here between these trees, which would have been the, the driveway where they parked. Guys, I'll get back to you if I find something. All right, guys, there she sits on the legend. Rang up about a 24 through a 26. Guys, I don't know what that is, but it's got pretties on it. If y'all know what that is, please leave a comment. Tell me, teach me. Let's just see the front side of it. Plop it around. Let's see the back. I sure do like that. That's a nice relic. All right, guys, on to the next one. Guys, I got a coin out of this hole down here, about three and a half inches deep. It, uh, let y'all see it. I can barely see a date on it right there. Let y'all see the thickness of it. Bigger than a penny. A little smaller around than a quarter. I'm gonna take a picture of this and put in the video, a steel picture, but uh, let me know what y'all think that is, guys. That's guys, can y'all see that pretty green patina on that one? It's nothing but a weedy. Man, that green color is something else. About three inches down. Right there here in the bottom side of the field, guys. God, it's a beautiful day. Man, I'm gonna tell you, and that hole sounds so pretty. Three things right in the hole. A bolt, a pool tab, an older one, and a piece of aluminum pipe. All right, guys, on to the next one. I'm gonna let you see where I'm swinging. I've been in this field right here, and I've uh, put the machine in field. I got it on ground. Multi-frequency one. Um, the signals have become far and few in between. That last coin I got that we can't tell what it is, it rung up as a 22. Um, guys, it's hot. I'm sweating. I, I am so sorry. It's hot out here. It's about 95 degrees. But it rung up as a 22. Uh, that's a nickel range. But it's a little bit thinner than a nickel, and I don't know if that's cause of erosion or not. But guys, I'm going to get to swing it a little more. I've been out here about, about four hours, and I've uh, been eaten by bugs. The creepy crawlers. Anyway, that was a 22. I'm gonna keep on swinging. I got this whole field right here that was behind that house and this whole field right here where I'm at. All right, guys, I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, so uh, I left that out there for a little bit. It got a Japanese one that got after me. Guys, it's been, a, it's been an interesting day for signals out here. Exactly what I'm doing today. I'm working this, this, this field in grids. I found three or four more coins and two two relics. Guys, don't get me wrong. I'm always talking about looking for coins. I like relics just as much as coins. Actually, more. Got some really great relics today. Um, I'm hoping I'm shooting the stuff y'all want to see out here. You know, I'm finding great relics. I'm finding old coins. I'm not finding the coins that I want to find. I'm telling you what I'd like to find. I, I, I want a buffalo nickel, and I want some silver dimes and quarters. Um, I got the Indian heads. 
I have gotten one silver quarter off of here. And I know I keep saying that, but that's what excites me. That's what excites me. That's what keeps me coming back. Um, not going to matter to take much longer. I'm going to go up to the house, take a shower. And uh, having a cookout today, guys. I wish I could invite all y'all along with me. Wish uh, all my metal detecting buddies over the internet could come out here and eat a burger and a hot dog with me. But hope y'all are eating one of your own. Guys, I'm going to swing a little bit longer. It is nice in this shade. You see over there, it's real sunny. You see I'm in this shade, man. It, uh, it's a great place to be. All right, guys, I'm going to get to swinging and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Talk about my fines. Little makeup. That would be the part the makeup was in. I think I got the lid the other day. Um, this piece here, guys. That, uh, I don't want to bend on it too much, but it looks like that would have folded up and snapped onto something. I got a lighter here. I'm going to put up to it just to show y'all relative the size of what it is. Right. And this coin, guys. Um, does that look like stars going all the way around it, guys? Y'all tell me what y'all think about that, what y'all think that is. I have no idea. This coin has no kind of marking. It's about a little bit bigger than a nickel. Maybe the same size as a nickel. Ring up a 22. The only thing I can make out is the stars going all the way around it. Maybe a little bit of a date right there. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. All right. Until next time, y'all have a good one.